So in this example, we have two masses A and B of 10 kilos and 13 kilos respectively are traveling in the same direction. Mass A is traveling at 5 meters per second and mass B is traveling at 3 meters per second just before they collide. The coefficient of restitution between A and B is 0.7. Find the velocities of A and B after the collision. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. We have our two particles, A and B, of masses 10 kilos and 13 kilos, respectively. A is traveling at 5 meters per second, and B is traveling at 3 meters per second. They're both traveling in the same direction, and this is before. After, we're going to have particles A and B, okay, same mass, but we don't know u, the speed of a after the collision, or the velocity of a after the collision, rather. And we don't know v, which I'm going to refer to as the velocity for b after the collision. But we do know the coefficient of restitution. It's 0.7. So e is 0.7. So we've got two things that we can work with. Uh, we have the conservation of linear momentum, and we have the calculation for e. So the um, conservation of linear momentum, let's do that first. That would be 10 times 5 plus 13 times 3 must be equal to 10 times u plus 13 times v. Okay, so we've got 50 plus 39, so 89. So 10u plus 13v is 89. We then have uh, the coefficient of restitution is 0.7. So that will be v minus u, so the speed of separation, divided by the speed of approach, which is 5 take away 3, and that's got to be equal to 0.7. So v minus u has got to be equal to 2 times 0 0.7, so 1.4. So we now have two simultaneous equations where we can solve them. So I'm just going to bung them into my calculator and solve them that way. So, menu, simultaneous equations, two unknowns. Um, so we've got 10, 13, and 89. And then we've got minus 1, 1, and 1.4. So we should get uh, u as 354 over 115, uh, which is 3.08 meters per second to 3 sig fig. And um, v is 103 over 23, which is 4.48 meters per second to three significant figures.